Quinn Snyder ran this unbelievably gorgeous after timeout play for Donovan Mitchell to catch and shoot a three in second overtime against the Nuggets. This is a formation that the Jazz have used all the way back to 2016 to set up their end of game plays as we can see them through the years 2017 2018 2019 as well as this year obviously in 2020 the setup is usually a big and strong side corner the two players looking for shots opposite and the other player usually a guard a good screener is going to be at the top the Jazz have come up with very specific plays against switching. Since the Rockets gave them so much trouble, Quinn Snyder was pretty adamant about finding plays that work against switching, as we can see in this tweet here. An example of that is their, what I call their quad play. This is the play that the, the tweet was specifically referencing against the Rockets, where two players randomly go out and cut out to the wing. Could be a ball screen, it's just random different actions. As Ingles lift, the Rockets get caught on the switching for an open layup. So this leads us to the evolution of this play where the Jazz initially would have a player, typically the bottom player, in this case it would be Gordon Hayward, is going to cut off of the low screen. So Gobert's screening for Hayward to come out to the ball side corner, usually to curl and try and catch and shoot, you know, attack the basket, whatever the situation calls for. Another example can be seen here against the Celtics. Again, down one. This time Hayward starts at the top with a little bit of decoy action. They get him out in the corner and then he goes one on one. With more and more teams, especially at the end of games, going to a switch everything or a switch heavy scheme, it was important for the Jazz to come up with counters, especially since the Rockets gave him so much trouble in the playoffs. Here we're going to say the same setup. This time, Ingles is going to be the first player to kind of cut through opposite and curl out. The Spurs initially switch this first curl. Then Donovan Mitchell is going to follow right behind it, turning it into a double curl action. Two players on the Spurs go with Mitchell in the corner, forcing him to give up the ball to Rudy Gobert for an easy dunk. This is action that the Jazz actually ran in tonight's game against the Nuggets. You can see Mitchell setting up that curl action. This time he reads the defense, ends up sprinting out to the top of the key and hitting a crazy tough shot. Now the Rockets against the Jazz caused all kinds of problems with switching. So this is a specific play that Quinn Snyder came up with that's very similar where the initial double curl action starts. So this time Mitchell curls, but he's going to stay and screen his own man. Then Gobert is going to be responsible for screening for Corver. This is a great read with Corver screening for Gordon. So now Rivers gets switched onto Gobert, Gordon screened off on Corver, and Capella's caught in no man's land. That allows Donovan Mitchell to get a wide open catch and shoot three, ends up just missing a great look. This is action the Jazz have run against the Clippers this year as well as in the bubble against the Lakers. We can see in this example, you know, down eight with five seconds left. So it's not really gonna be, you know, too much of, in defense, but they still run this action maybe to see how the Lakers are gonna guard it in the playoffs. So that leads us to this play. Here we have Donovan Mitchell low, Mike Conley high, Royce O'Neal is a top player, Bradley is the low screener, and Joe Ingles is a trigger man. This play starts off with Conley going through to the opposite side coming off of this baseline curl. All right, he's gonna come off the screen from Bradley. Donovan Mitchell at the same time is gonna set a back screen for Royce O'Neal, who is guarded by Michael Porter Jr. This action happens at the same time. Michael Porter Jr. switches, but he's just a little too high on Donovan Mitchell, so he's caught on the high side here. Mike Conley is gonna curl inside and set this little quick screen on Jokic, screening Bradley's man, then Bradley is going to come up and screen for Donovan Mitchell. So like a screen to screener action that's going to allow Mitchell a wide open three as Porter calls for a switch, but nobody switches out. Let's go back and look at this again. Conley brushes Jokic, Bradley screens Porter Jr. And that allows Donovan Mitchell an easy catch and shoot three. Just an unbelievably great set from Quinn Snyder and the Utah Jazz and just a great after timeout special. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I look forward to doing more.